Greetings everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm starting my free to play 100k 2020 challenge. If you didn't see the video where I announced that I'll make sure it's in the end cards at the end so you can take a look at that. I asked you guys um, what I should play and I got one suggestion and that was for a Gorn engineer. So I did it. We're playing a Gorn engineer and uh, his name is Gauss because that's the name of my channel. He's the only character I have right now. I just started the account this morning. I've only been able to play for a couple of hours, but I did get him up to level 17. And I uh, really love the new system where you can just uh, play anything you want, pick any mission you want. You have to do a little intro for each arc. It only takes a couple of minutes. And then you can skip through any missions you want. I have, I, You could go straight to the very last arc if you want, which is really nice for like getting uh, equipment from different missions and things like that. So... I'll show you my character. There's not much to show right now because he's only level 17, but I will show you my character here in a minute. And maybe we'll do an Argala run or something just to uh, have something to do. But I'm going to fill out the rest of these seven slots with uh, Jim Hadar so I can get the Admiralty train going. I'm probably going to do that later this afternoon. And then, uh, so there should be a lot more to show next week, but I wanted to get the schedule started and get it set. So that these videos always come out on Fridays. Maybe not always at the same time of day. Maybe I'll schedule it and pick a time. I don't know. But definitely I want these videos to be on Fridays. So these free-to-play update videos are going to be on Fridays. Today's Friday, so I'm doing it today even though there isn't much to show you. Let's go ahead and log into the character and just see what I've been able to do with just a few hours here. And, um, you know, he's a, he's a pretty beefy looking guy. You know, uh, beefier than I am in real life, of course. Um, I'm not a giant lizard either, but, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> uh, I, ha I picked the battle cruiser for my level 10 ship just because I wanted the, the extra engineering console slots. One of the toughest things about early days and free-to-play early in-game is that you don't have the personal space traits and things to add to your survivability and your resistances and stuff. So you're just super squishy. That and all my gear is crap, so... This is definitely one of those games where the best defense is a good offense. If you can kill things quickly, then you don't have to worry about defense because they can't hurt you if, if they're dead. And then also, I just don't have the traits or anything. So usually personal space traits, repair crews, and um, contexts for kings and all that kind of stuff really helps a lot. Don't have any of that stuff. But uh, I did do a few missions. I got the uh, two-piece Martok, which is really great. Crit chance, accuracy, uh, and then, you know, the, the I'm going to go Disruptor since it is KDF. I think that's the fitting. Plus, it's my favorite one. Disruptors are my favorite. Uh, but you get hit points, you get shield power, which is not great. Engine power is always nice. Shield capacity is good. Turn rate, definitely, if you're flying a slower moving ship. Uh, the weapon itself is pretty good. And then I went and picked up, uh, I did the last Kobali mission twice to get the two-piece uh, deflector and impulse engine just for some extra survivability. Plus you get some hull regeneration bonus with that two-piece there. So I've only done those three missions because you get, oh no, I did four missions. I did into the Nexus also because uh, this gives power transfer rate. And uh, the, the whole restoration and capacity is also pretty useful as well. So that was really, really nice uh, getting these. You get both. You get the console and one choice item from Brushfire, so I only had to do that mission once. So I've done four missions. That's pretty much all I've done, and I did a couple of patrols, and that got me up here to uh, to level 70. Oh, and I did one queue. I did um, Peril over Pavo or whatever it is, uh, the one where you have to go and uh, tether... Te uh, tether the uh, you go shoot the ships and then you got to bring them back to the checkpoint and all that whatever that one is um, so yeah not much really going on here uh, I was able to refine 8,000 dilithium today and I did get one phoenix pack and it gave me a rare so I was able to get the tannis even though I don't have admiralty unlocked and I won't have it unlocked for a while I do have that so I need to get those and uh, I got just from I took, I picked up everything that dropped, and I um, uh, discarded it through the replicator. So I've gotten a, a little bit of energy credits, and um, I've, I've managed to pick up a few um, uh, marks as well. I also got myself into the Reddit KDF fleet. I went, I just asked, you know, can anyone invite me? And they invited me right away, and very nice, uh, very, very good. So I am in the Reddit uh, KDF fleet. 
here, which is really nice, and I'll be able to dump dilithium in here to get fleet credits to go buy stuff and everything like that. I haven't actually checked to see what I'm assuming I'm the first rank. I have access to fleet chat. I can donate to fleet projects, which is good, because that means I can get fleet credits and sort fleet bank, but I don't have access to buy things yet. I don't know what I have to do. Obviously, I'm fine with any kind of requirements. If I have to donate things or whatever, I'll definitely do that. Rank 2, open to all members with contributions of 75000 No problem. So we'll donate our 75000 We were going to be donating way more than that anyway because we're going to need tons of fleet credits to get... Um, trait unlocks and all that kind of stuff so that's no problem so once we donate 75,000 we'll uh, get access to the store and then we'll be able to buy you know uh, all of our items you know go to the uh, get our fleet uh, fleet deflector and our fleet uh, warp core and all that kind of stuff so I don't really have much else to show you other than that highlights here are that uh, I was able to get 8k dill I was able to get some marks because you can do that now I got a few pieces of uh, mission equipment I made it up to level 17 and uh, let's see I have a few minutes here so why don't we go struggle through an Argala run <laughs> um, oh it's not available why because I'm in the ship let's leave this ship then maybe you gotta be outside the ship it's painful. It's it's better than it was. I, I started doing it when I hit level 10. Um, and it's pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, uh, the character is pretty junky right now. So it's pretty difficult to do an Argali, even on normal. It's pretty tough stuff. I... Um, I have not, I've done Argala like four times now, and I've never managed to do it uh, without exploding. <laughs> so let's see if we can make it through without exploding. That would be nice. Oh, too close. Like, I have pretty decent firepower here once it scales me up. I, I'm assuming I'm scaled up. It doesn't say that I'm, like, fighting at level 50 or whatever. However the scaling works on these. Clearly, I am scaled up. These aren't <laughs> level 65 enemies. Does it say what level they are? Is there some way to check it? I guess not. I guess there's no way to check and see. Unless I'm just an idiot and it's on the screen and I'm missing it. But, um... That's right, buddy. Let's go over and announce ourselves. Don't have much in the way of, uh... Really anything that will help me. Oh, I guess I did get EPS power transfer. That's nice. Extra weapon power is good for, uh, doing damage and... Shield power is actually, at, at this stage of the game, shield power is actually pretty valuable. Uh, did I bug out? What's going on here? Everything just froze for a second. I think the server was having a fit. Actually, I'm doing much better than I did before. I wonder if that one one level up really helped or what the deal is. But I'm doing much better than I did the last time I was in here. Of course, the last group is definitely the hardest. I don't notice it on my main account. Like, when I come in here on my main account, I'm doing it on advanced, and I just blow through everything. Uh, nothing even stands a chance. It all gets obliterated. In fact, if I'm not paying attention on my main account, um, I, I don't realize I've finished it, and then the thing pops up, and I'm like, oh, I guess that was the last guy. But here, it's actually a fight for survival. I don't have keybinds put in yet. It just doesn't seem worthwhile to do keybinds at this point. There's not enough abilities. Plus, it would be kind of a waste. I don't have cooldown management, which makes keybind spam not as good. Um, you got If you can't spam it, then it's more important to activate it when you actually need it. Especially when it comes to like uh, hazard emitters and engineering team. Uh, here we're doing pretty poorly. I'm going to nope out there a little bit, try to get turned around.
I'm not using a torpedo, which, you know, I know a lot of people probably do like torpedo. I don't like using torpedoes. I just don't like them. Oh, this isn't good. We are so dead. We are so dead. We're so dead. No, 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 no. Survive, please, please. No. <laughs> I can't stay alive. I just don't have it. I have like 25,000 hull. How am I supposed to survive? This is crazy. Oh, let's go kill this guy because he's over on his own. I should kill the pets first, maybe, but... The bad thing about not killing the pets is that they don't count as part of the wave. So then, like, the next group will spawn in on top of you, even though there's still pets from the last wave out. So it's just more stuff firing on you. Just take everything. So we can sell it. Get some energy credits. I probably will do Tour of the Galaxy at least a few times. One of the bad things about a free-to-play account is that like, if I could just spend $15, it would make things way easier because you don't get an account bank by default, so there's no way for me to consolidate energy credits from all the alts, and you have the um, energy credit cap. So the energy credit cap may not ever be a problem, depending on how expensive uh, traits are on the exchange. As long as they stay under 15 million and DPRM is under 15 million and all that kind of thing, uh, it's possible that it may not actually matter. I may not ever need to have more than 15 million at one time. So that, I may not have to buy that, and I probably won't unless I really have to. Because here's the thing I don't want to buy Zen. That's not really my goal at all. Um, buying Zen is not something I want to do. I might do it in order to get keys in order to sell them, in order to get credits. So like if the only thing I want at the time is something I need energy credits for for the exchange, maybe I'll buy Zen that way. But that's not really my goal. I'm not looking to get Zen to buy things in the C store. Really, I just need dilithium for the things that you actually need dilithium for in the game, like uh, Phoenix upgrades and uh, fleet gear and locators and all that kind of stuff. Uh, unlocking I, I don't remember how I think it's like if you if you get all your fleet credits with dill the uh, the fifth starship trait I think comes is like over 350k because like 250 I can't remember which it is I think it's like 100k dill and 250k fleet credits or the other way around or something like that but it's super expensive and then of course you also need for the uh, fifth reputation slot and you're going to want maybe I won't bother with the um, sixth doff slot we'll just have to see that's not so important but that's another thing that will cost God, die jeez uh, yeah shields failing I noticed this guy let's see how, how I've, well, I've only blown up once right and we're to the last group the last group is the hardest though so I don't have any I don't have any illusions that we're gonna make it through the last group in one piece I'm gonna focus on the smaller ships first but it may not matter come on let's see if we can get this uh, cruiser down before we die I don't think so. Probably dead. Come on. Come on. Die, please. Die, die, die. Yes. Okay, we at least got one ship down. We don't really have any speed here. Let's go after this guy. Oh, I get um, Brace for Impact soon. Okay, we got him. Oh, we're looking real dead here. Hazard emitters, please save me. Oh, God. Oh. 
engineering team. Come on. Ah! <laughs> we died again. Oh my god. Why do I do this? It would probably be faster and easier to just do the missions. But no, damn it. I want to do Argala. I don't know why. I'm just being stubborn. Maybe if I use the shield uh, cruiser command, that might be a little bit better, but... I don't know. I, I, I want the weapon power cost reduction, so I'm not willing to... Wasting my abilities now. I didn't even need whole healing. Doing the uh, reroute power to forward shields can be pretty useful. Especially since it's only on a 5 second cooldown. Having the engineering abilities helps too. If I was tactical and had attack pattern alpha and stuff, it'd probably be about the same just because you'd kill things faster so you wouldn't necessarily need as much survival. That's only twice. We only died twice this time. So that's not so bad. When I came here at level 10, I didn't have any mission gear. I just was like, oh, I guess it'll let me do it at level 10, so let's go and try it. And I just had like, you know, level 1 gear on my ship, and it was the smaller ship. I hadn't gotten this ship yet, so it was the even tinier one, the one you get when you start the game. And, uh, oh man, I got really crushed on that. Let's see, what marks do I not have? I don't have any Undine marks, let's take that. Okay. Well, you're very welcome for my assistance. Thank you for thanking me. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I went ahead and did a little run there uh, just to add some content here because there really isn't much to show. There should be more to show in terms of progress next week. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next week on the next episode of this free-to-play challenge. And I uh, hope you guys have a great week. And uh, probably there will be another video out before then because I think the um, ISE drops on the 7th because that's when the event starts or the 8th, which I think is before next Friday. So there may be another video up about that over on my main account next week. So probably going to be a couple of videos from me next week. And uh, so looking forward to that. So thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.